Thank you for joining us. I'm Ellie Pai Hong, and this is Comcast Newsmakers. This hour's newsmaker is Edmund Yomtov, psychologist and president for the Illinois chapter of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. Today, we will be talking about the Out of the Darkness Community Walk. Edmund, great to have you back. Thank you for having me. Now, this Out of the Darkness Walk is really to raise awareness for suicide and depression. And it's a community event that we're holding that we'll talk about coming up in just a little bit. It's mm -hmm. coming up in September. Uh, but you actually are working on a lot of youth-targeted uh, programming <clears throat> to really raise awareness. Yes. Um, in addition to just going out in the community and uh, raising awareness by talking to depression and suicide, We've got a couple of really fantastic programs. Uh, one is aimed for high school students. It's called uh, More Than Sad Video. Uh, it is a set of two DVDs. One is for teachers, one is for students. The student video shows four vignettes. In each one of those events, uh, vignettes, it shows a young person struggling with some kind of mental health problem or substance abuse. So we show kids who are suffering from anxiety, depression, substance abuse, or just adjustment to everyday living and problems. Um, the videos are very careful in terms of showing treatment, treatment being talk therapy, cognitive behavioral therapy, possibly medications, although when we're working with youth, we're really careful about medications, and you need a qualified uh, health professional, a medical doctor or psychiatrist to prescribe them. Um, and of course, uh, the youth should be followed up with with a counselor or a therapist. Uh, so that video shows what uh, is shown to students. Um, so they can identify depression and other mental health problems in their cell and in their peers. Um, and then we, we're hoping that they learn to do some help-seeking behavior to speak to a responsible adult who will help their friends or themselves find a mental health professional. And I would think when kids see something like that, they think, oh my goodness, I thought it was just me. Mm -hmm. But it may not just be me, that there is help out there. Yeah, there's a lot of help out there. Kids probably don't know how to access help. Um, our kids, you know, kids nowadays are pretty savvy, um, so they know what depression is. They uh, cope with uh, substances or uh, drugs and alcohol uh, in high school and even sometimes in elementary school. Um, so they're they're pretty smart, but they may not know how to access um, healthcare. Um, and they might not be able to fully identify it. Um, that's one of the reasons we have the teacher video. And the teacher video is a little bit more based on educating teachers about specific mental health problems, depression, anxiety, and helping the students uh, find treatment. Because for the most part, uh, we're asking the students to go to responsible adult, adults. Uh, those will probably be mentors, teachers, coaches, and so forth. So we can educate those people and then in turn, those people will help youth uh, receive health care counseling. Right now, right now uh, 90 percent of school districts in the state of Illinois currently have these DVDs, and you're really hoping to get into colleges as well. Yeah, we're actually really proud of getting into the school districts on 90 percent of this. That's a huge accomplishment for us. Uh, we're also doing work on college campuses uh, with a screening program called the Interactive Screening Program. What we're doing there is we're sending college students a screening uh, via email, um, the screening in, uh, consists of about 11 or 12 questions about depression. Uh, when they fill in uh, this screening, uh, they sh an email gets sent to a social worker on campus. There is a dialogue via email about depression and need for health care. What we're finding is we're identifying a lot of high risks for depression and suicide, and we're getting those youth to come into their student psychological services and access health. Uh, health care, uh, it's really fantastic because yeah, we're finding wonderful. the right kids for that. Now, obviously you're targeting youth, but this community walk is really to engage the community in yeah. this effort as well. Coming up September 24th, how can folks get involved? Um, uh, we can ask people to get involved by going to www.outofthedarkness.com. Um, it is a fantastic event where survivors of suicide loss come. Uh, as well as people struggling with their own mental health problems. Well, best of luck to you on the event. Hopefully lots of people come out and support you guys. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. This hour's newsmaker has been Edmund Yomtov of the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. I'm Ellie Pai Hong. Thank you so much for joining us. For more information on newsmakers, head online to newsmakers.tv. And we'll see you next time.